We are going to review three purification and separation techniques in this section. The purification and separation techniques are 1, vacuum filtration, 2, centrifugation and 3, separation using a separating funnel. The vacuum filtration is used to remove solid particles from a solid and liquid mixture efficiently using a vacuum pump. The solid residue will be collected on the filter paper and the filtrate will be collected in the vacuum flask. To set up the vacuum filtration, attach a clean Buckner funnel to the vacuum flask. Clamp the Buckner funnel using a retort stand to secure the setup. Attach the rubber hose to the side arm of the vacuum flask and turn on the pump. Place one filter paper of the right fit on the Buckner funnel. Wet the filter paper with the same solvent used in the mixture to be separated. Pour the mixture slowly to filter it. Ensure that the residue is sufficiently dried. Then turn off the pump and disconnect the vacuum hose from the flask. Remove the filter paper with a pair of forceps and spatula. If you need to collect the residue, scrap the solid into a Petri dish using a spatula to collect the residue. As you are using the vacuum filter, please ensure that the level of liquid in the Buckner funnel is below the arm of the vacuum flask to prevent the filtrate from being sucked into the vacuum pump. A centrifuge is used to separate suspended fine particles from a liquid. The supernatant liquid can be collected by decanting the top layer of liquid after centrifuging. The solids will settle at the bottom of the centrifuge tube as a pellet. When using the centrifuge machines, ensure that the samples in the centrifuge tubes are of the same level. The centrifuge tubes must be placed opposite or in such a way that the weight is evenly distributed for spinning. You may use tubes containing same volume of distilled water to balance the samples if needed. The opening of the centrifuge lid should face inwards. Secure the rotor lid and close the machine. Next, set the speed, revolution per minute, and duration. As machines may vary, it is advisable to refer to the laboratory manual for specific operation procedures for the centrifuge machine. The following are some safety precautions to note when using a centrifuge. Use centrifuge tubes of the correct size. It is important to secure the rotor lid to prevent explosion of the centrifuge tubes. The rotation speed selected must not be too fast as high rotation speeds may break the tubes. If live cells are involved, the cells may also die at high spinning speeds. Lastly, ensure to vent the machine by releasing the pressure before opening the lid to remove your centrifuge tubes. A separating funnel is used to separate two liquids of different densities. It is used when extracting a dissolved substance from one liquid into another immiscible liquid. We must ensure that the two liquid layers are well separated before draining the liquids out from the separating funnel. The volume of liquid mixture should be less than two-thirds the volume of the separating funnel. The two liquids are mixed by inverting the separating funnel gently a few times. Invert the funnel to release the pressure built up in the separating funnel by opening the tap. Lastly, remove the stopper, and allow the mixture to stand until the two liquid layers are well separated.